New extra depth on an interesting place you may not know about. The K Bailey Hutchinson plant in East El Paso is the world's largest inland desalination plant. Built in 2007, the plant is the leader in technology when it comes to the advanced reverse osmosis process that turns brackish or salty water into purified drinking water, as well as the revolutionary disposal process of the extra salty wastewater it leaves behind. ABC 7 meteorologist Katie Frazier shows you how it works. This plant runs 24-7, 365 days a year. Hector Sepulveda is the water plant assistant superintendent at K. Bailey Hutchison. We take what's called brackish water, groundwater, that is very salty, too salty for human consumption. We bring that water into the plant, and through our uh, reverse osmosis membranes, we separate the minerals from the water, and so that the water that actually passes through the membranes has a whole lot less minerals in it. What we're showing the world is desalination in areas away from the ocean is very much possible. This plant was designed to produce a maximum of 27 and a half million gallons a day. 27.5 million gallons equates to about 416 Olympic sized swimming pools. Of course, the amount of water produced on a given day depends on the demand of clean water by customers. Those special membranes are how this whole process is achievable. About 80% of the water that we push through these membranes will actually make it through into this collection pipe. All that water that is collected here is now called permeate. That is the water that is taken to our final uh, process station. Every three hours, workers collect samples throughout the process to make sure the samples are coming out correctly. This is the brackish water. This is the water that comes from our salty wells. Uh, and so if you were to evaporate this container, you would get this much mineral left over. Uh, this is our permeate. This is the water that actually makes it through the membrane. So now it has a whole lot less uh, minerals in it. If you were to evaporate this uh, beaker, you would get this much mineral. The permeate water that comes out of the membranes is treated and cleaned once more before entering the drinking water system. The state-of-the-art desalination plant often sees visitors from universities and delegations from other countries to see how the plant runs and disposes of the waste. Here in El Paso, the disposal process is very efficient as it is either sent 22 miles away and 4,000 feet underground or right next door to a company that uses the various salts left over to create other products. So so this is where all the uh, reject water that does not make it through the membranes is collected at this wet well. And these pumps push that water pretty much in that direction to the base of those mountains. EP Water spokesman Gilbert Trejo says the water company is looking decades in advance on how they will provide water to locals. Desalination overall is in the future for El Paso, desalinating uh, additional facilities, expansion of this one. We're always looking for new places to, to put additional uh, desalination plants as well. Uh, and when I say that, I'm talking 50, 70 years into the future. But running a plant like this can be expensive. Okay, we're not running out of water, but we're, we're running out of the cheap water that we could just simply pump and sell to them at a very low rate. The cheapest option is using fresh groundwater from wells. Cleaning river water can run about two to three times more expensive, and desalination runs about four to five times more expensive. It's a detailed, intricate, and scientific process to turn brackish water back into drinking water. Mmm, that's good. The clean water produced by the plant goes out to customers uh, who live in the east and northeast parts of town. Additionally, the plant is named after previous Texas Senator Kay Bailey Hutchinson, who was instrumental in securing the funding for the plant. She worked very closely with leaders at Fort Bliss and the Department of Defense to ensure the plant would be in a secure location to provide water, not only for the base, uh, the post, but for east, the east side residents as well.